In some ways, you could say, well, if, if it, it tapers off as you get older, why not just give everybody testosterone yeah. automatically? There are some consequences oh, to yeah. taking yes. hormone if it's not appropriate for you or if yeah. the levels get too high. Exactly. Yeah. No, no that, that, that's a great point. A lot of people see testosterone as a magic bullet to aging. Um, and yes, it's true, it has a lot of positive benefits re associated with restoring a man's balance. However, I'm sure just as we hear a lot of ads, advertisements on um, anti-aging clinic. We also hear a lot of advertisement from the medical trial lawyers talking about testosterone causing stroke, causing, um, you know, blood clot problem, heart attacks, and that. Yeah, so th there was a report, I think, from the New England Journal of Medicine yeah. that f there's fourfold increase in strokes yeah. that can occur. Yeah, so that, exactly. So that's why, the way I look at it is that testosterone just like any medication, has the side effects, so we, doctors need to be monitoring them for it. And that one of, there are certain conditions that uh, a man should not be receiving testosterone, such as men with breast cancer, men with um, untreated high-risk prostate cancer, men with specific heart failures. We should point out that in prostate cancer, you actually go the other way. Yeah, so. You try and lower testosterone. Yeah, to prostate cancer is very interesting because prostate cancer is one of the very first hormones. Even before breast cancer, we find an association between hormone and cancer. So by making, a, by castrate a man with prostate cancer, their, their cancer can regress or sometimes go away completely. Um, so that's one condition where we want to be very careful. Another medical yeah. reason to be carefully monitored and watched exactly. if you're getting testosterone yeah, because prostate cancer all men get worried about as you get exactly. older and and here's you're taking the wrong thing for it exactly and that's I think that's one of the biggest message I hope to come across today is that um, getting testosterone is not a totally a benign thing therefore you should be given by a medical professional who knows the side effects and screen men's for side effect and contraindications to the me medication and that's the most dangerous part about the, the, the anti-aging clinics is that they don't always monitor a man for some of these other conditions. And, and this could be very dangerous because one of the side effects of testosterone, it can make a man's blood too thick or called polycythemia. We used to give men who are anemic in on renal failure testosterone. So if your blood gets too thick and we don't know about it, of course men are getting strokes and heart attacks. So that's why.